I can't fall back asleep, so. I guess I'm just gonna get up and go to work. Today's like a crazy busy day. Some, my manager already texted me saying someone called out. So it's gonna be a lot of work and understaffed. And like they didn't do prep yesterday or something. So I'm gonna be homie and try to get there as early as I can to help out as much as I can. Cause normally I just like run the show today, but because of the whatever tournament is going on, my GM is even coming in to help. Which I'm appreciative of because I gotta leave and go to church, so. Alright, I gotta get up. I gotta get moving. Hi, baby. Good morning. Why do you got so much energy this morning? She's like running around in the hallway screaming. <laughs> yes, you. It's four in the morning, sweetheart. <laughs> It is freezing in here. Dicky too. Oh. Ooh, but I got my new Walmart sweats and they're so comfy and warm. You know like the first time you wear something? Oh, I love that. Ooh, it is so much harder when it's cold in here to get out of bed. <sighs> Wowza. Okay, what am I doing with my life? I actually slept a good amount of hours, which is good, but I didn't do my skincare yesterday. I just went to bed. Oops. Sometimes you gotta just sleep, you know what I mean? My queen. Oh, I just want to stay with her all day in bed. Look at I'm pink. Okay, what's next? Why am I forgetting how to person right now? Um, oh, vitamin. I'm gonna take my skin ones too. Very chatty this morning. Are you okay? You seem a little grumpy. You don't want mama to go to work? You want me to play with you all day? I know. But mama's working hard. We're gonna save her dollars and we're gonna buy a van and go hit the road so we can play all day and never be apart. You just gotta be patient with me right now, okay? We're working towards our future we want. Look at this thing. Come here. Let's go to work, work. Let's go get away. It's gonna be a busy day, but we got this. Well, let's read. What's today? February 25th, we're gonna read our Jesus Calling. We need to start the morning like that. Ooh. Rest in my presence, allowing me to take charge of this day. Do not bolt into the day like a racehorse suddenly released. Instead, walk purposefully with me, letting me direct your course one step at a time. Thank you me for each blessing along the way. This brings joy to both you and me. A grateful heart protects you from negative thinking. Thankfulness enables you to see the abundance I shower upon you daily. Your prayers and petitions are winged into heaven's throne room. When they're permeated, per, permeated? with thanksgiving, perm, I don't know that word, in everything you give thanks, 
for this is my will for you. Wow, I love that. You got it. You take charge. I'm resting and I'm thankful and I'm grateful. We're not bolting like a racehorse. Instead, walk purposefully with you. I could do that. There's no bus this early, so I'm walking and boy, is it chilly. Oh. actually frozen right now, but we're gonna stop at Peace Park. <gasps> There's bunnies! Hi, bunnies. <gasps> Look at them. Oh, there's another one. <sighs> wow, it is so dark this morning. I just keep playing the Jesus Calling reading in my head. Walk with purpose today. Not rushing like a racehorse. Walk with purpose. <sighs> Let's do this. a really spooky walk. I was hearing like really creepy noises and I saw weird things. That was really scary. I have the spooks. I do not like it. That was so scary. I don't know why. Something was just eerie out there. But on a happier note, I brought my alkaline jug so I can go to the grocery store after church. Anyway, That sermon, oh my goodness. That resonated so deeply with me. Oh my gosh, and I, I absolutely love how Pastor Charles explained it. I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video I, if anybody would like to watch. I really, really like the book of James so far. It's like, oh my God, I can't even put into words. Just go watch it because it is, like exactly things that I struggle with, like these two mindsets, 
of like I want to think differently but like I, I I have doubt oh my god oh my gosh oh my gosh is mind-blowing um and they talk about like wealth and poverty and I like first-handedly experienced like what he was talking about how the, like people that are poor have more opportunities to be transformed by faith and that's why like you treat them with like a higher honor and people like of wealth honestly have less opportunities to be transformed by faith because like through trials and suffering is like where your faith is tested and it's not like in a testing like a like you pass or fail test like a testing of when you run like a diagnostics on something and you see its composition like that is like how we explain it like going through trials and tribulations like it tests to see like what's going on with in here with your faith and then through that you get the perseverance that eventually leads to oh my gosh like your your mind your values your views all to be aligned with like the kingdom like what jesus would do what how jesus is and it's exactly what i want and like all i got to do now is pray for the wisdom to do that oh my gosh i am wow wow Wow, I don't know if I explained it as good as he had did, so I'd rather, I wish you, just you guys should go watch it. Oh my goodness. Like, it is like, ex that is exactly what I needed to hear. Like, where I'm at right now is, like, I don't want to be rich anymore. I did for so long. I know it sounds crazy to say, like, I, I don't want it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, and you know, there's these villages they talk about. I'm in the room, like, you know some of the poorest countries in the world they have nothing and yet they have like pure joy they have connected in communities and they have faith and i want that i i know the world and societal things have told me for a long time and i believed it and ran with it of like what success is and what i want and how i want to live and like that's just is not the case anymore I don't want to be wealthy. I don't want to be rich. I don't want materialistics. I don't want that like high stat hierarchy status. I want to be poor and I want joy and connection and faith. Like that's what I want. And I don't, and I'm, and I'm finally in a place where like, I'm, I want God to transform my, my thinking process. So I can see the world in that way where it's not going to change. Like actually what's going on in my day to day life. But when things happen, trials and tribulations, I view them and perceive them differently, which leads you to joy, pure, pure joy. And I, 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 I've had a taste of that in the beginning of being homeless. And then the more honesty I gained in like wealth and success and the more, it was the opposite effect for me. It, things have gotten, I don't know. So I, it was in a, an absolutely incredible reminder and I'm so 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 grateful for that sermon today oh my gosh that was incredible it was exactly what I needed to hear and exactly oh my god I'm just like I'm gonna live my life differently I want to think differently I want to see the world differently perceive it differently wow Wow. wow this is amazing and what's the coolest part is like it feels so right like it feels oh my gosh I can't even describe it I'll get some cash when I'm inside I made the guy outside a plate just in case, and I'm gonna give him some cash too. I actually remembered my alkaline jug. Oh wow, I feel so good right now. Oh my goodness, I feel so calm. And so, I just feel so good. I love church. Wowza. I am so excited for to live this way.
Oh my. Wow, the air feels nicer. The sun feels warmer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to work. What am I doing? Oh, I'm so happy. I wish like I could leave every day and go to church and come back to work because I'm in such a better mood. I'm slicing like six packs of cheese right now. And everything is becoming like so clear. I don't even know how to describe it. I know exactly what to do. I know like what my goals are that I'm working toward. Today's a good day. Oh my gosh. We actually have like other staff. So I've been just like, have my music in and just like doing a bunch of slicing. Mind is just in the flow state and everything is just so clear. I've never been this calmly excited for the future in my life. If that makes sense. Like normally it's I'm excited and I rush, but like this time it's different. It's like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, happy Nika. Ooh, this is a heavy one. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry. Appreciate you. Oopsie. I love that she said the critters will come eat the the tomatoes. That was such a good shift. Everybody was crushing today. Like People are doing the dishes when normally it's only me who does them. Wow, that was so nice. And I got to get everything done. And I left on time. What a day. It is popping out right now. Oh my goodness, what day is it? I guess it's Sunday. <gasps> Doggo! Look at him, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love you. Come back. Ah, I finally see now why the bus stop don't go down here no more. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to talk about the construction and I dropped my wall. <laughs> oh, and I scared the dog out that I was trying to film. Oh my goodness. I was so excited to have my alkaline water. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? I need to get together. <laughs> I'm just happy today, okay? I love you, God. I'm so grateful. I'm high on the Holy Spirit. Oh, wait, wait. Look at him. Oh my goodness. The dogs. I cannot handle it. That's beautiful.
That person had to have done psychedelics. Just saying. Today is just the jackpot for dogs. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, oh my God. We got like mini Pomeranian Huskies. What is happening? Oh my God, there's two. Look at it. Oh my goodness. So cute. Isn't life beautiful? You know, it just is. It just really is. Oh, I love you, son. I think I'm gonna go walk that loop. That one by the water. And be in nature. Doesn't that sound nice? It's church, people, I'm telling you. It's just today's message from Pastor Chris or no, Pastor Charles, just like, it just hit me in all the right places that I align with my future life, or my current and future life. So exciting. I love people. Everybody's just like out, doing their thing. I'm here. Sorry, I had to change out of my stinky Jimmy John's clothes. Oh, Buddha bee. Look at my child. Hi, precious. How you doing? You have a good day. Oh, you missed me? I missed you too. those purrs. Oh, the pink tongue. <laughs> Hi, Buddha. Oh. Why are you so beautiful? I love you, mommy. Hi, beautiful. She's perfection. cute I love you mama okay how strange is this my neighbor just came over and knocked on my door she's like a sweet older lady who has a cat because she wanted our cats to introduce each other and I was like my cat doesn't like other cats but you can say hi <laughs> and her first question was do you party and I was like no I go to the gym and I go to work and that's it. I didn't tell her I was in, in recovery, but I just said, no. She's like, okay, all right, we'll leave it at that. Lois, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Actually, I think it's really cool because I love Olivia Pope um, in Scandal, the TV show, and her neighbor was named Lois. I was like, oh, Scandal. Well, Lois gets killed actually though. Anyway. That's not gonna happen to my Lois, but, well, hopefully, God willing. But that was so strange. Okay, I'm going on a sporty walk. The pink is not the vibe. I got my like ombre leggings on, so we're just gonna go solid black. It's crazy how cold it was this morning, but now in the afternoon, it's like the spring vibe again. Oh my God, it feels so sporty.
I know I've been so busy. The curls. Hi, Buddha. I love you too. Her purrs. She missed me. I miss you too. But Nova, just one more week and then you're gonna be in a bigger space with hopefully more than one window. I'm hoping I can maybe go view the apartments this week because I still have not seen what they look like. So I can get an idea of like what furniture I'm gonna need. I'm gonna ask my dad if he has anything for free because I'm in money saving mode so I can get an RV. Look at her. Okay. She doesn't want me to come here. I'm here. She yells at me if I put her down. Like, talk about a big baby or what? Mama, I'm going to get into bed and then we can cuddle. Just let me do my nightly skincare. You can't yell at me. Come on. I love you too. My child just wants love. Don't we all? This is the longest I've ever had my curly hair out because of Nova. So for all the curly hair lovers, thank this one. Can't okay, move it, lady. I have not seen my curls this healthy ever. You know what time it is. Consistency, consistency, consistency. It's my best friend. Not always fun, but it works. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Add a little whatever this is that my sister gave me. Okay. I got work to catch up on and sleep. See you tomorrow. This is all I need. My cat happy. Happy cat, happy mom. My baby. Nova's trying to bite my phone. What is he doing?